Dave Taylor here again, and this time I'm looking at the Dell Optiplex AIO3240. This is this guy. It's an all-in-one desktop, and it's actually really cool. Basically, the idea is if you really don't want a laptop, and there's plenty of situations where you don't want one, then this as a desktop works great because what's missing? There's no extra box. All the computer is on the back of the screen. So it's actually really very slick. And it, this one in particular comes with what they call the height adjustable stand. So I can easily raise it and lower it. And there's some stuff in the back. You can change angles and stuff. So you can really get it to be just where you want it to be. And in this case, I also got the wireless Dell keyboard and the wireless Dell mouse. And before you think, oh, come on, dude, that's like a huge amount of extra money. This pair known as the KM636, and you can't say Dell doesn't have great product names. The KM636, only 45 bucks through Dell. So you get both of them and it immediately just works with the Optiplex. So it's super great. It's just super easy. And you can see here, it's a big 1080p screen. This is actually a 21 and a half inch screen running at 1080p, which means that you can watch HD movies. If you choose to use Netflix or something, it's gonna look great on this. It's really like a little 21 inch TV. And of course you're running Windows 10 Pro. So I got all the Windows 10 goodness. Hopefully you look at Windows 10 as something that has goodness. I do. And this is a pretty basic configuration. So this is not your like huge gamer, liquid cooled, complicated device. This is something that would be great for an intern at your company. It could be really good in a dorm room, for example. Or if you need to equip a computer lab, this is the kind of computer you're gonna use. So it is four gig of RAM and it has a 500 gig hard drive. So it's not bad, but it's only running an Intel i3-6100 as dual core. So so it's not breaking any speed records, but still you can see when I'm you know, doing basic stuff, it certainly is reasonably peppy. Where this really is set apart is how many ports it has. This is a crazy amount of ports. So first, let me show you, this is underneath. So this is where you would find here. So let me show you all the ports here. And then on the side, there's a whole nother set of ports. So between them you have, you ready for this? Four USB 3 ports, two USB 2 ports, HDMI, display port, and of course you get that ethernet jack. So you got a ton of different ways to connect. And on the side you also have a headphone jack. So if you don't wanna bother your roommate or you're in a lab and you really don't wanna have 15 different computers simultaneously helping people learn Spanish or something, headphone jack for the win. It's actually surprising a lot of computers now are moving towards just Bluetooth. And I'm not a big fan of that because it just adds a lot of complexity and you end up with crosstalk if you get a lot of Bluetooth devices in the same room. Make it wired, works nice and easy. So what else can I tell you about this? Uh, it's pretty light considering what it is and really a lot of the way it ends up being the stand because this is a pretty solid stand. It's not going anywhere. With the stand, the whole thing runs just under 14 pounds. Not bad, I mean, it'd be a really heavy laptop, but as a all-in-one computer, that's actually a really nice spec. And let's see, what I was gonna tell you about it, Really, there's not much else to talk about. It's just a really nice solution. It's a really nice all-in-one. I know my sister's interested in the all-in-one units because she's living the RV life, or will be soon, and this is the perfect kind of computer for that because she doesn't want to live on an 11-inch or 13-inch screen. This is nice and big and obviously can double as, for example, maybe a bedroom television or something. Anyway, this is the Dell Optiplex AIO 3240 all-in-one desktop and starting price for this unit is about $729 at dell.com and the configurations increment up from there of course depending on what you want and i have the wireless keyboard and mouse which adds about another 45 bucks really pretty painless so this is dave taylor and if you want to learn more about the optiplex line please just go to dell.com and i'll catch you in my next video